Hello and welcome to Tireless with Kraziak. I just got off an hour and a half of fighting Axel in Kingdom Hearts 2. So, no rest for the weary, I guess. We're gonna play a game called Tireless, so... I am not even allowed to rest, apparently. So let's just go ahead and start... Start demo. Let's do this. The game is automatically saved at the beginning of every level. Acquiring the skills. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so let's see. What are my controls? Oh, hi. I am Kiera. A specially designed AI to guide you through the game of tireless. Oh, Use good. W A S D keys to move around and space bar to jump. Okay. Hold the jump button to jump higher if needed. Okay. So I can kind of do stuff like that. Oh boy, I can really jump. Whew. And can I do like a little mini jump? I can do a little mini jump. All right. This is a jump pad. Walk onto it and it will launch you far in the air. Will it now? How far will it launch? Oh, okay. That's that's not too bad. It's far, higher than I can jump, that's for sure. There's a dot over there. Well, it's, it's a big dot. It's a big pixely dot. Whoa, hi. This is a health coin. Collect a hundred of these and increase your lives by one. Is it a health coin or an extra lives coin? Alrighty. And colors. Pretty colors. What can you tell me about the pretty colors? If you, like, you can change your appearance by using the arrow keys. Oh, cool. So I can be all like... Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, I have wings and I'm glowing in gold and stuff. Dude, that's awesome. All right, let's get up there. Boink. This is a checkpoint. Entering it will save your location and will respawn you here when you lose a life. When I Just lose a life? That if you lose all your lives, the level will reset and you will spawn back at the beginning. I better be careful not to lose all my lives. You gotta keep them kind of tight, you know? Boink. Checkpoint reached. Checkpoint reached. Also, there's a timer up there, but I was dicking you around getting my appearance, so. Moving in any direction to dash, both on ground and in air. This ability has one second cooldown. Okay. So, you're, you're basically saying that if I were to jump like this and do that. Ooh. Fancy smancy. Shoo. It's actually a pretty short distance dash, but. Adrenaline box. It possesses incredible power. Collecting it will give you a great boost of speed and increase your jump height. This power up lasts for five seconds. It possesses incredible power. Uh, when you're in adrenaline mode, the movement is very sensitive. Longer, okay. While on air, use A and D. Did it say how to trigger it though? Oh, okay, that like brings up the website. Okay, well I'm just gonna check the website and see if it says how to bring up adrenaline mode. Um, adrenaline mode. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Okay, I missed that part then. When you're in adrenaline, okay. All right, well, okay, that's, oh, that's the adrenaline. Oh my God. Oh boy, you just got to pick the thing up and then, oh no, I missed, I missed the thing. Okay, goodbye world. There goes a life. It's a long way down. Respawn, okay. So basically, the adrenaline mode is just triggered by picking up the cubes. Pick up the cube, and then pick all those up, and then jump. And we want to be in the center here. Jump! Oh god! Oh no! I jumped way too far, dude. I just tapped the button too. Like, okay. All right. Well, I'm already down to one life on the tutorial level, so that's cool. This this brings me great hope for the potential for me to actually beat this game. Yoink! Oh boy. Okay, let's, oh boy. Yeah, I did want to stop there, because I want to get this. It's one coin, I know, but. Boink! Okay, boink! Yeah, I made it! Reset? Why reset? Why'd you reset? What? Why? How was I supposed to know that running into a red line would reset the whole level? What are you talking about? That's, that's complete. And utter bullshit. Just th you just throw me back at the beginning of the level. Why don't you? You even undid my customization. What the hell, man? That's. I'm sorry. That is really stupid. There's no way I could have known. I mean, I guess I was down to one life, so maybe that's why it did the reset. But at the same time, there was that red line there. I had no idea that was bad. There was nothing that indicated it was bad, and I was coming at it like a freaking 
screaming hyena at the speed I was going. I don't know, man. Maybe I just didn't play enough Sonic. And jump, and then, then don't hit that, apparently. Oh boy, oh boy, I wanna pick up some coins. I pick up some coins. Okay, and just don't, don't run into anything bad, apparently. Oh, you can go pa- I d- Why? Why, why the slow-mo, bro? Okay. Whatever, dude. Anyway, doesn't matter. Coins for extra lives that I apparently desperately need. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Also, is it just me or I have, you guys like not played a game for a long time that had the, uh, the extra lives and the continue mechanic. Cause like, usually an extra life, like these days an extra life is an extra life. Like in Super Meat Boy, you have infinite lives. You just respawn at the beginning of the level each time. Or if you have a game that has checkpoints, you usually spawn at the checkpoint each time. It's been a long time since we had a game that, like, would give you lives, and then when you ran out of lives, you'd start at the beginning of the level again. It would just, like, invalidate your checkpoints, essentially. It's been a long time since I've seen a game like that. Alright, I have four lives. I'm pro. I'm uber duber pro. Uber duber. Uber goober is more like it. Oh boy. Gimme, 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 gimme. I also like how the level is semi-reflective. Uh... Okay. Moink. Eh. Eh. Oh no. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. We'll just climb these stairs like a pro champ. Oh boy, up we go. And one more. Okay, checkpoint. Yay. If I get the checkpoint. checkpoint you know, this isn't exactly what I expected of this game. I have a game called Tireless. I expected a game more like Chameleon Run. Have you guys ever played Chameleon Run for like Android or iPhone or whatever? You guys ever played that? I expected a game more like that where it was just constant high speed running. Basically, constant adrenaline mode is kind of what I expected from this game. But it's more just like a 3D, almost exploratory platformer. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that when you give that impression of your game as being like this adrenaline mode, that's kind of what you come to expect. Oh good, tiny platforms, my favorite thing. Oh boy. I don't like tiny platforms. Tiny platforms are my least favorite thing. Let's sing the least favorite thing song. You guys lead, I'll listen. Eh. One more, okay. Need to catch a breath, press escape to pause. Oh, okay, that, that's good to know. Oh my God. I can't see anything, because it had lives increased in my way- Oh my god, there. Lives increased was literally in my way there. That was- that was not good. Boink! And then jump back to the right- Oh god, there's a thing there. Don't- don't- Don't land on the thing. We learned our lesson last time. Alright, here we go. Okay, made it. Oh my gosh. Hit it! There we go, I got it. Oh, okay. I almost didn't make that because slow mo. You've reached the end of the tutorial. Mm, well good. Done. In front of you is the portal leading to the next level. I shall leave you from here. I wish you luck on your journey. Thanks, bro. It only took me eight minutes to beat the tutorial. No problem. Level completed. Mm, zero deaths. Yay! Jump count sixty-two. Adrenaline six dash three. Time spent a lot. Continue. I'll do a few levels of this. Wait, what? Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I thought there'd be a few levels at least, but apparently that's it. All right, fine. So I like the game. Like I said, it's, it feels a little misleading because if you go to the Game Jolt page, th the obvious highlight of the page is they love this adrenaline mode. The adrenaline mode launches you super fast and you can do whatever you want when you're on adrenaline because yeah, but there's just not enough adrenaline in it. A lot of it's just like slow, tedious platforming, like jump, 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 or the, the stair style jumping, which is also not fun. But um, the, the adrenaline is a great mechanic. It should just be in the game more. For a game called Tireless, there were lots of times where it was like downtime where I could just sit and pause and wait. It should, it should be more like I said, Chameleon Run, where you're just running all the time. An endless runner, like Boson X is another example of an endless runner that you just run all the time. So that's what I think the game should actually be. And I don't know what they're planning for the actual levels. Maybe the tutorial is just you can get a handle on the controls and that's fine. 
but right now the trail is all I have to go with. So that was my opinion on that. But if you want to try the game for yourselves, I'll link it in the description down below. But other than that, apparently that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.